Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of my YouTube channel, Jack of All Bricks. Um, today I'm going to show you 25 hat ideas that I made for um, this Lego dinosaur. Um, I can show you the time lapse really quick. So that's how I built this dinosaur. Um, I, I kind of built the basic way, like, um, yeah, it doesn't really have that many smooth edges. This is probably what Lego sets used to look like back in, like, maybe the 1900s or something. Like, I, I don't know, but let's get to the hat parts. First hat, um, I don't know why I came up with this one. Like, I called it, um, like, like, I didn't know what I called it at first, but eventually I came up with the name Missile. And, um, that's our, um, first hat down. Okay, um, our next hat, um, is pretty simple. Like, um... I found this building technique where you can take a bicycle and, like, um, kind of sl sandwich it between, like, in between studs on, on, like, Lego brick. Yeah, and, um, this is my second hat. Like, I basically got this from a bicycle. Um, I, I have two wheels and I, um, sandwich this little part in between, um, like, the studs. And, um, like, there's a little handle. Um, I didn't include a person. I don't know why. And, um, we also have a little... Um, light here and um, that's our second hat down. I'm gonna put it right beside the missile. Um, our next one is probably a hat that um, my dinosaur probably has found like at maybe an aqua theme park. Like, um, it's a shark hat that I got um, from, a, from a pirate Lego set like a few years ago. Um, as you can see it has sharp teeth and mad eyes. It has a lot of smooth edges. Um, it even has some adjustable f fins and you can pose it in any kind of way you want. And, um, yeah, it's kind of broken. I was messing with a lot of my, um, sets, but, um, at least I made, like, a little aquatic hat for our, um, little dinosaur fella. Oh. And, um, it looks like that, um, is our third hat down. I made, like, two versions of one kind of hat, so, um, this is <coughs> dinosaur head right hat number one. I used a seed, um... I used a minifigure with torso, legs, body, hands, arms. My my parents said I could put on the back, but like, my parents said this looked better on the back, but I was making a lot of headwear, so um, I just had to like um, put it on here. And this is um, like the dinosaur head ride um, hat number one, and that's our fourth hat down. And, um, this is Dinosaur Head Ride hat number two. It's a little different, like, this is like a, like, a back chair. Like, well, kind of like one of those chairs that you find people sitting at on the beach. Um, it's kind of broken. I think that I got this from, like, a beach theme set or something. Like, it kind of fits perfectly on the dinosaur. Since the head of the dinosaur is, like, a, a thin 2 by 3 plate piece, there's a, um, adjustable thing back here. And I'm pretty sure I could've put, like, maybe a cup of coffee right here, but... I don't know, but at least it looks cool. And it looks like that's our fifth hat down. Here's the next one. Um, again, I don't know why I came up with this one, but eventually when I found it in my drawer, I decided... I came up with the name Binocular Source right away. It has a, an adjustable um, binocular thing at the top, and um, like I don't know why, but but this literally looked just like Wally -E from like the Disney movie Wally. -E. Um, I put this on a black stud piece to make it like um, move around all that stuff, and this kind of looks like a thing that like maybe spies would wear. Um, there's nothing else on the back. It's just, like, yellow. That's why it kind of looks like Wally -E, because of these binoculars and the color. And that looks like that's our, um, sixth hat down. Um, this is the next hat. Um, this is probably, um, the worst one in the video, but, like, I just came up with this one because it just first hat, it looked like, um, I learned about these people, and, like, they're called constables, and I saw them wearing these hats, and I also found out that this kind of looks like a top hat, too, so, um, yeah, that's, um, our seventh hat down. This was one of my favorites, like, um, I, I call it all fired up, like, um, I used a fire flame and, um, a little stud to put the fire flame on it, and, like, I wanted this to be, like, perfectly in the middle of the studs. I found out that you can sandwich a single stud in between this right here, and, um, that's pretty much a, like, very good building technique. I'm just gonna put this right there, and that's also our eighth hat down. A few more to go. Um, I don't know why I came up with this one again, 
Like, it's called Tablesaurus. Well, there's not really much, like, entertainment to this, but, like, um, play... And, um, I used, um, this to connect them both. And, um, I got this from one of my first sets, like, called the Pizza Van. Um, I don't know if it had this thing at the top. I thought it was, like, maybe pretty much this. But eventually, or, or the set might have had, like, um, this plate dish at the bottom. And it just, um, appeared that way. Uh, I don't know. But, um, anyway, that's our ninth hat down. Yeah, having trouble counting all these. Um, a few more to go. Uh, at first, I didn't know what to call this one. It's basically just, like, a giant leaf with a creepy spire on its head. But eventually, I came up with the name Mossy Head. Like, I could have came up with, like, a better name, like, maybe Mossy Source, but I thought that was a little just too wordy, and, um, I just came up with Mossy Head. Um, I used a spider and a leaf to make this. Like, I used a spider and a leaf to make this. I really didn't know what to call this at first, but at least it looked cool, and eventually I came up with the name Mossy Head. Again, I know I'm saying the same thing, but it's for content, y'all. And that looks like it's our 10th hat down. 15 more to go, I think. Yep, yeah, 15 more to go. This next one is um, called um, Iceberg. Like, I didn't know how to put in word with, like, maybe primitive dino or, like, maybe source. But, like, I got this from one of those, like, classic sets for, like, um, young people. And um, I actually had one. And, like, one of the characters were a penguin, and um, this came with the penguin. Yeah, um, I don't know why, but it just made a very fun element to it. And it looks like that's our 11th hat down, and um, 14 more to go. Um, like, this one was, like, a really good, um, hat. Huh, the alarm doesn't work anymore. The batteries must be dead, but we're not talking about that. I came up with a really good name. I called it Primitive Police. Like, um, I got this thing from, like, a police set, and, um, I got this special siren piece from, like, well, like, I think I got one from a firefighter set, and then I got one from, like, this police set that my dad got me once, but, um, yeah, at least this is a pretty cool hat. It looks like that's our, uh, 12th hat down, and only 13 more to go. Gosh, we're going through this really quickly. At first, I called these green devil horns, but when I showed these to my parents, they thought they were Loki horns, so I eventually ended up calling them that. Um, these, um, green pieces from a, um, space set, like, from the legs of an alien, and, um, when I attach them with, um, these gray pieces onto this pieces, um, that's our 13th hat down 12 more to go this this next one is called cute okay um i couldn't fit it in with like any of those like um three down words dino saurus or like primitive this might be a beautiful touch that you might find in your garden um like i use some grass pieces to like connect these flowers to um yeah make this look like pretty cute i don't know if all these are flowers like these green pieces look like leaves and um these bluish purple pieces look like um maybe orchids or daisies i don't know but this might be a cute touch to like maybe a lego garden build and it looks like that's our 14th build 11 more to go. This one's a pretty funny one. Um, it's called, um, Dino Copter. Um, I couldn't find a name to fit in with, like, maybe Primitive or Source, but then I came up with Dino Copter. At first, I didn't know what to stick this to, but then I found one of these pieces that might be good use for, like, maybe exhaust pipe on a car. But when I found out that I couldn't, um, sandwich in between, like, studs, I eventually found this piece and put this thing on it, and I thought, like this propeller wouldn't go in but it actually does it just leaves a little space where you can like see the tank piece yeah and it looks like that's our 15th hat down um 10 more to go i thought this one was pretty funny i call it um primitive cleanup crew i'm kind of surprised that the stuff in the trash can isn't gonna fall it isn't really falling if i like turn sideways like this is a sideways video look this is the surface and it's not on a wall it's literally on a table um this is called primitive cleanup crew and i used the trash can and i got this lego piece from the same space set that i got these loki horn things from i also got this piece like um i acted like these two pieces were like trash pieces and um like you could put it on a dinosaur's head and it kind of looks like it represents trash like on a dinosaur's head like because like primitive cleanup crew and all that i don't want the trash to fall out um so i'm just gonna 
put like this. That looks like our 16th hat down, eight more to go. This one was a pretty clever idea, um, like mechanical head arm. Like I used this like um snop brick piece on um this like um adjustable mechanical arm that I put like um a wrench on and I used um two of these like um robo arm pieces to like um put the wrench on it and um it kind of looks like a good pair like um on like a mechanical head arm for like um Slugo Dinosaur. Yeah that and um, that looks like um our seventeenth hat down. Eight more to go already. I call this one um satellite dish like because it literally looks like a satellite like on a dinosaur's head. I was thinking like maybe satellite head dish or satellite dish head or head satellite dish but eventually I just ended up naming it plain satellite. But it's not plain satellite dish, it's satellite dish, okay? I used um this um connector piece to connect the satellite to like um the piece that this connector piece is on and um yeah, that's about it. That's our 18th hat down, and um, only six more go. No, no, seven. This one is kind of hard to put on very quick. Um, like it kind of has a lot of like bendy pieces to this. This is called all chained up. This is probably what a um dinosaur that went to jail looks like. Like it probably has ch chains around its face, like all over its head. Like it just makes a very sad touch to like a build. And it looks like that's our 19th hat down. Six more to go. I call this one primitive waitress. I guess I'm gonna have to take the food off this one. It's gonna fall off since it's this is sideways video. This is um basically a plate um minus the food sally because this is a sideways video it, i called this primitive waitress because like waiters usually hand out food to people at restaurants right saying this might make a good touch to like a maybe a lego restaurant or something and that looks like that completes our 20th hat five more to go um this one's like um really boring it's basically just a hay bale that i got from a farm set long ago and um it's basically just a hay bale on top of a dinosaur's head like it it's just really boring, but it includes like um these pieces, like these kind of thin um like kind of like scrapey pieces. I don't know how to describe it, but like this boring headpiece kind of comes with like a special piece. It looks like that completes our twenty first hat. Four more to go. When I made this one, I called it Skatersaurus. It's actually a pretty good name. Like um I used um a skateboard and um a black slope piece to put the skateboard on because like. Um, there's literally studs underneath the skateboard so you can like um, put it on the slope piece and it just really makes a fine touch for like maybe a piece of headwear on like any animal besides a dinosaur or like it's basically it um and that looks like it completes our um, 22nd hat three more to go we're almost done Woohoo! um at first i called this um head shooter and um like the name says like um it has a stud shooter which can um be used to like shoot studs and um i connected the handle to like um one of these pieces to make it look like it's standing up a lot um yeah it's basically like a good touch for like maybe an army thing or something and it looks like that completes our 23rd hat two more to go um my parents thought this was um my coolest idea yet i call this one primitive racer like i sandwiched these wheel pieces in between the eyes right here and it just makes like a really cool touch and um yeah that's mainly why my parents thought this was like my coolest hat idea ever i built a miniature car with backlights and i didn't include any headlights but i did include a windshield a very smooth top and um i don't know why i left a space at the back but i just really need a space at the back and um that looks like it can completes our 24th hat and um one more to go this hat was um probably maybe one of my favorites of like all of them i might as well give you the name while i'm setting it up um it's called um planted and um it just really looks like a cool hat yeah um, this is why it's a cool hat like it basically has like a lot of plants <laughs> on top and this piece makes it look like one of those like special like singers in the parade like cabaret singers maybe and it just makes a really good touch of life on top of a dinosaur's head it just like really spark 
sparks out like nature like i don't know and um that looks like it completes our um final hat of this video um be sure to subscribe to my channel um and leave a few comments about my um of my first video in the commentary area and be sure to um comment below what video i should make next and um we'll see you next time bye